Hi there, Terry Hashimoto with Bytrack. Thanks, Rob, for taking some great swings today. We're looking for the key pressure positions in golf. Number one, at address, 55-60 on the lead side. Good job there, Rob. The windier the conditions, typically their golfers will set up more on the lead side, like in the UK and Texas and so forth. But 55-60 on the lead side is typically where we see the, uh, the best tour players in the world set up at. Lead arm parallel to the ground on the way back, P3. In and around P3, the pressure begins to move forward. We call that pressure transition. In this case, Rob, we're just hanging back a shade. At P3, in and around, that's max vertical pressure on the trail side. Then we're going to skip directly to the uh, P5, which is the lead arm parallel to the ground on the way down. And that's typically max vertical pressure on the lead side. And you did a very good job there. You just pressed down a little bit too early. So that's how you use the key pressure positions in golf. And then at impact, of course, we're looking for, depending on the club, but between 80 and 90% of the pressure on the lead side, which is, you did a great job there. One caveat to all this, just for the records, the length of the club that you, the length of the club determines the amount of the pressure that you're gonna get to the trail side at P3. The longer the club, the more pressure you'll get to the trail side. For a wedge, 55, 60 is fine. For like a seven or a six iron, 65, 70 is fine. For a driver, 80, 90 is probably where you want to be. Terry Hashimoto with Bytrack in the key positions in golf.